All right, next question comes from Detroit U of M8. He asks, Chris, what is your favorite team to use in NBA 2K10? Favorite team? I'd say my favorite team is probably the Spurs because they have pretty much everything you need to win. You know, they have the dominant post player, Tim Duncan. So if you're playing against somebody online and doesn't want to guard you, you can just go down into the post with Tim Duncan if you know the post moves and just punish them for not defending you. Then you have Tony Parker who has elite crossovers. He's so fast, the one man fast break. Then you got Manu Ginobili. And just overall, the team has always been perfect for my style of play. Mm -hmm. And when they used to have Bone on that team, it was just the best team to use against all the abusers in those quick rank games. And so that's probably why they're my favorite team to use. But I like to use a lot of different teams. I don't just use the Spurs. I use all the teams. When I'm playing in a quick rank, I might use Miami. I might use Denver. I might use the Lakers. I might use the Cavs, the Magic. It doesn't even matter. I might use every team. You know, to me, I can play with pretty much every team. I just have to practice with them. You know, yeah. Make sure I know all the releases and everything, and then, you know. But it does. It does come down to ratings. If you really want to be successful, you need to pick a team that has the ratings to play defense, that has the ratings to score efficiently, and that's what it comes down to. And the Spurs are definitely one of those teams. Yeah. Because you, like I said, you play good team ball, and they're they're the epitome of playing team ball. So that, that's a good team to pick. All right, next question comes from Ballin Bro Bryce. Now, before I ask this question, I did a video, Chris. It was called Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James. And basically what I did in that video is I try to explain the difference or try to make people appreciate. Because it seems like to me, Chris, if you're a Kobe Bryant fan, 80% uh, of the Kobe Bryant fans hate LeBron and vice versa. So what I was trying to do is make both players and you know both fans of players appreciate both of them because in my opinion Kobe Bryant is a more skilled basketball player than LeBron and LeBron is a more talented player because talent is something you're born with skill is something that you work at and there's a difference between those two a lot of people don't know that and in the video I made a bold statement I said LeBron James has more talent than Michael Jordan I think he's one of the most talented players ever played in the game ever play the game maybe not as talented as Wilt Chamberlain but the reason why I said LeBron is more talented than, than, than Michael Jordan is because his physical gifts when he came into the NBA the guy was 6'8", 240 he was a man and Michael Jordan came when he was out of high school he was like 6'5", 185 or something like that so the question from Ball and Bro Bryce was uh, do you th ask, ask Smooth if LeBron James is more talented than Michael Jordan who do you think is more talented you know, I still think that Jordan is more talented. Okay. Because talent is also, you know, it's not just your athletic ability. It's also the qualities that make up the kind of player that you are, you know, your natural qualities. And I think that Jordan's competitiveness and his desire to work hard and just, you know, everything about Jordan, I think he still has... He was still more talented than LeBron. Even though LeBron has a bigger body and he's, he's fast and, you know. But, you know, Jordan basically does everything that LeBron does. You know, Jordan could jump out the gym. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jordan, I, I think it's Jordan. I think Jordan's more talented. Yeah. You can't lose with that. I mean, he's the greatest ever played a game, so. All right. Now, as a side note, ball and bro Bryce, and I'm not kidding you guys. You guys can look at the promo video I did. This guy asked about anywhere between, I think, 45 to 48 questions. <laughs> so he's a, he's, a big, he's a big fan of yours, man. So shout out to Ball and Bro Bryce. Thanks for all the questions. Uh, this next question comes from the Sandwich 007. This guy is one of the smartest basketball you know, minds we have. He always gives me good answers to my Jerry's NBA question of the day, and i got to give him a shout out to the Sandwich 007. His question to you, Chris, is, who do you think will make the playoffs in the East and the West? The eight, the eight teams in the East and the eight teams in the West, based off the information that you have now. Oh, man, we have to go look at these standings. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I think that Chicago, they have to make the playoffs. 
If Chicago doesn't make the playoffs, I would really be shocked. Let's see who. Well, Cleveland. I don't. I don't know if Cleveland is gonna make it. They. I don't really know what. I don't really know what they're gonna do. I think pretty much everyone else in the East that made it last year will make it again with Chicago. Well, Chicago made it too, but Cleveland. Who is going to replace Cleveland? I, that is a tough one. I am not sure. Probably, probably, I think the Knicks might make the playoffs. I think in the East, I think they'll definitely be able to win with Amari there. I, I think they're going to make the playoffs. So I think Orlando, Boston, Miami, Atlanta, Milwaukee, Charlotte, Chicago, New York, probably. The West. Ah, the West. The West is tricky. I, you can never really predict what's going to happen in the West. But I think either Houston or Memphis. Or maybe even... Wow, I don't even know. Maybe even the Clippers. They might take the spot for the Suns. I'm not so sure how the Suns are going to work out. But, you know, Houston, you don't know if is going to get injured again. You don't know. Memphis is a young team. They're coming up. The Clippers, we haven't really seen, you know, Blake Griffin yet. So, I don't know. That's, that's tough. The West is always tough. Yeah. So, I think pretty much everyone that made it again, except for, you know, take out Phoenix. They, I don't know what the, how, the, how that's going to work out. Okay. So. All right. Um, the next question comes from uh, Joeler Coaster. <laughs> this kind of touched on what we were talking about before, but how I asked you how people treat you and stuff like that. Now, obviously, this is kind of a crazy question, but, um, you know, people, a lot of people don't know what you look like, so it's probably going to be hard. But he asked me, this is what he has. He says, smooth. When you go somewhere, does anybody has anybody asked you for your autograph or been like, "It's Chris Move"? Oh my goodness! Is any, <laughs> <laughs> is it? No, no one's ever. No one has actually ever done that. Uh -huh. But the people that know me, when they see me, let's say they haven't seen me in a long time, they're like, "Smooth, what's what's going on? Where you been? And how you doing? And you know, you still doing that? You still playing basketball? Everything like that? But never an autograph or anything like that." Okay. Well, that's coming. Not at least yet. Yeah, well, that's coming soon. You start showing your face. You got to show your face, man. That's going to be coming. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right, well, you know I appreciate it, man. I, I Thanks a lot, man. We This has been a long video. I got the exclusive, man, with you. But before, oh, yeah. I, before I go, what's in the future, or what do you see yourself, or what are you going to be doing in the next 12 months? What's Chris Moore going to be doing as far as the YouTube channel is concerned? Just gonna be doing more of the same. Gonna have some Call of Duty Black Ops, 2K11, maybe some Elite 11. And actually, I was gonna compare the games. Okay. This is something that we didn't get to talk about. I was gonna compare in a lot of different videos 2K to live, but I just didn't have enough time to do it. Okay. Because, you know, to really do that, you have to actually put your time in with both games. Yeah. And I just didn't have the time to do that, so that's why I didn't. I only did like a couple of them. Right. So, I, I, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. But you know, you just know you're going to see some 2K videos for sure. You know that. Uh -huh. And you're going to see some Black Ops because you know, I actually like the Call of Duty series. Even though I've never played a first-person shooter, I just love the, the way the game is, the format. I just like it. So that's definitely coming. And that's pretty much it for right now. You might see some surprises, maybe some songs, maybe some skits. Real life, you never know. Okay. Now, as far as uh, comparing the games concerned, I remember you were you were walking down the street in a video, and you were talking about that. Yeah, you remember, yeah. Do you remember that? I remember that. <laughs> it's still there too. Yeah, yeah. I was I was watching it actually watching that the other day, and uh, yeah, people would definitely definitely like that. How how are you at uh at Elite? Are you any good at? I mean, at Live? Excuse me. Are you any good at it? I'm pretty good at it. I uh, I think my record in quick rank because that's pretty much all I played was like thirty five twenty my oh. online record oh. so I didn't really get to play that many games but I definitely had some games where I was really in control 
mm-hmm. and dominating. And then I had games where I was just getting owned. <laughs> you know, like I remember I played a game against the Cavs, uh-huh. and Mo Williams made like 15 step back threes. Wow. That was like, at the time, that was like one of the things you could abuse in a game. And he was making three after three after three. It was just crazy. It was a huge blowout. Mm-hmm. But I think from, you know, just making a transition, I think I did pretty good because, you know, NBA Live, if you just have some basketball knowledge, you'll be able to win some games. Because it's, it's, it, it, it is a fundamental game. You know, that's what I was doing. I was using the Spurs, pick and roll, Tony Parker, and uh, Tim Duncan, you know, Manu off the dribble. You know, it was just, I was just using some fundamental things. I didn't really... You know, use a lot of different teams. I just stuck to the Spurs because that's my style, and I know definitely how to use them and how to be effective. And so, I think that if I were to transition, let's say if I didn't play 2K and I just got elite, I think by the end of that game, I would be one of the best players at that game. Yeah, you just got to practice. I agree with that. I agree with that. Now, I'm at, I'm at to do my own little self plug in here for a second. I need, I need your help with this, Chris. We talked about this earlier about my. Uh, uh, Jerry's NBA 30 teams and 30 day contest. Yes. Yeah. Now what what I need, Chris? I need 30 correspondents. And basically, what it is, you guys can go to my channel and look at that. But basically, in a nutshell, it's a contest where I need I'm going to cover all 30 teams in 30 in a 30 day span. So from September 1st to September 30th, what we're going to do is I need one correspondent from each team, and I would like you. You don't have to, but I would like you to live in that area. So whatever city you live in, and the reason why is because I can't have access to the local newspaper, the radio, or the television. And also, I can't go to the games. You guys can do that. So you can have see uh, more details on that on the video. And basically, what I'd have you do is make a 10-minute video uh, about a preview of your team, talking about the, the roster, the new additions, talking about your coach, your star players, your your. Uh, your your key players and things like that and then give me predictions about what your team's going to do and where your team's at you know if if you're if you're a team like you know you're just say you're the worst team in the nba i don't want you to say oh i think we're going to win the championship you know just give me a a real (laughs) don't give me a don't give me a homer version of your team just give me a basic uh rundown of your team and i and i actually had people uh leave me video responses on the on the video chris but i i need your help i need your help i still need some some more uh, correspondence for each team. So if you know anybody out there for me, that would help me out a lot. All right. All right. Yep. All so right. This was good. It was fun. All right. Well, Chris, I thank you for your time. Like I said, you are a uh, YouTube legend. You know that. And I, re- <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate you coming on, man. And uh, any last words before you go? Well, I want to do some dual cons with the community, so respond to me. Send me a message and keep sending it if I don't respond so that I can see it. And just stay tuned because I'm going to always have videos coming out. I'm never going to you know, just disappear out of nowhere. So if I'm a little busy, that's all right, but I'll definitely be back. I have a lot of videos. I just have to have the time to put them out. Right. Okay, that's cool. All right, Chris. Well, thanks a lot, man. Have a good weekend. Thanks. All right. Thanks for coming you to too. show. Yep. Thanks for coming to the show. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right. Okay. Signing out. That was a lot of fun. Enjoyed it. But if you think that was big, we got something even bigger coming. So stay tuned. Uh, I got a big announcement coming here real, real soon. So uh, this Chris Smooth NBA Jerry interview was just the start of something really, really big. I'll announce that real, real soon, so stay tuned. And I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. Take care of yourselves, and don't forget, if you believe it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. You guys know I appreciate it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated, and everything will be okay. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.